Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about, well, you already know because like, you see the title this year. So, like, let's get straight to it. <laughs> Let's get straight to it. We're not gonna like take so long for talking about all this, this and that, like what, what anime is, but no, we're not gonna do that, all right? We're just gonna talk about what anime or what new gen, my fault, is the best. Now the first thing we really gotta look at is the story. What new gen anime really has a good story? And to me, I'll probably give that little reward, or not reward, what am I talking to you about? I'll probably give that award to probably maybe like Black Clover. I'm not gonna lie. When I first watched Black Clover, it was very like I, I couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I just couldn't. Um, but like now that it's done and finished, and I really look back at it, the story was really like it was really good. Yes, there are other stories that are up there with them. Like, um, don't get mad at me, but Boruto and maybe even My Hero Academia and Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen too. Um, they have a good little story. But I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, needs like another season to really like grab other people's attention for the story um but and by the way by the way we are not going to be counting like anything from the manga because i've read all of demon slayer manga yes i'm a little nerd head yes i know <laughs> but yeah we're not going to really count anything from the manga because first of all i don't want to read all the new gen manga like bro i might as well just wait till the anime drops you know what i'm saying like who reads the manga? Like, who fucking reads anymore? And also another thing, we're not gonna be counting Attack on Titan as a new gen because that just wouldn't be fair. Attack on Titan would just obviously be the best. We all know that. I don't know, would, would Attack on Titan be even counted as new gen? I don't even think so, but if it did, then it would obviously be the best. So we're not gonna count that. Okay, so back to what I was saying like a minute ago, Black Clover, best story, hands down. I'm not dick suck, I'm not doing none of that because I used to hate Black Clover. A couple of my friends know I didn't like Black Clover. I thought it was lame. I used to think of it as like a fucking fake ass Naruto. But now that I'm caught up and just, I've seen everything. It's a solid story. Um, one of the best, if maybe even the best um, new gen story. So yeah. Another category we got to take in mind of is also character development. Ugh. Character development plays a big part in the anime. Oh, uh, cause if you just have the same person, kind of like Dragon Ball Z, like Goku, where he's just the same guy, just beating everybody's ass type shit. So for that, I would probably give that to, to be honest, Black Clover again. You see Asta kind of grow up a little bit and it's really nice to see that because <clears throat> at first, well, he still yells, but as you see like the little time skip and you see him like, Later on in the episodes, you don't really see him yell crazy like that. You don't really see him, like, you know, do all this stupid shit that he usually did in episode one or the early episodes. So, yeah, I got to give it to Black Clover. And plus, you see other characters develop, too, um, which is going to be another category that I'm going to, you know what I'm saying, break up. <laughs> Next category is the antagonist or villain, whatever you want to call it, right? Now... Who has the best antagonist in new gen, in new gen anime, should I say? Not gonna lie, it might have to be Boruto. Well, it might be a tie, to be honest. It might be Boruto and Black Clover. It might, right now, it sound like I'm on Black Clover dick. I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, it really sound like I'm just sucking Black Clover, bro. Like, it's, but it's really that good, though, to be honest, like, I'm, gonna keep you the bean it's really that good so i recommend that but back to the little antagonist shit boruto got some good antagonists you might be like oh they got some filler antagonists all, all this no boruto really has some good villains or antagonists um in the show that are like damn shit's tough or this and that like bro they really got some so for for the people who are just like damn boruto's trash filled with fillers no just give Boruto a watch and you'll understand, right? I'm not gonna like spoil anything because I don't wanna, you know. 
if, if someone's new watching, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm going to watch this. Oh, this going to happen. Oh, I already know because I watched this video type shit, you know? Same with Black Clover. Black Clover has some of the best antagonists I've seen in new gen anime. All right, next up will probably be side characters. Now, the side character category, I'm going to have to give it to Jujutsu Kaisen. Not going to lie. Jujutsu Kaisen has literally one of the best um, side characters in new gen anime. Now, they do show the side characters more love than any other new gen I've seen so far. Only one that can really probably compete with, maybe it's like with Jujutsu Kaisen, it's probably like My Hero or maybe even a Black Clover. Black Clover shows a ton of love. Black Clover, yo, why am I on Black Clover's dick right now? What the f Back to it. Uh, My Hero shows love with Shoto and Bakugo and all the UA students. Um, and then Black Clover shows love with like all the Black Bulls and all the other people like that. Um, so yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen does a very good job um, giving their side characters love. Even with the little exams or um, the little test or whatever. I forget what it's called. My bad. This is one take. I haven't done this shit in a while. My bad, bro. <laughs> but yeah, they really show a good job of really like showing these, these side characters love and giving them great backstories. Even, um, what's her name? I think Mai? Mai or Mei? I, I forget her name, but... That girl is tough, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Next up, we got animation. This is already just like, we already know who wins this. It's Demon Slayer. <laughs> yes, I put this category in so Demon Slayer can win at least one fucking reward. Damn. No, but all seriousness, um, Demon Slayer wins animation. Um, there are some that kind of compete with them. Like Jujutsu Kaisen, um, maybe even My Hero, maybe even Black Clover can kind of actually no, because they only started making good animation towards the end, so we're not going. But we're gonna stop Ryan Black Clover. God damn. Next up is going to be soundtrack or OST, bro. To be honest, I might have to give this a three-way tie, but then again, all three of these are so good. Now, Jobless Reincarnation, Demon Slayer, and My Hero Academia. Those three have one of the best osts or soundtracks i've heard in new gen like it's actually crazy on how much like ost can really like really carry a anime i'm not gonna lie now if you just watch an anime and you don't really care about like the music or the ost but you are wildin some music and anime can really like just change the mood of shit like it can really get you hype or can just really get you in a vibe, not gonna lie. Like Jobless Reincarnation, that shit, the OST is such a vibe, and it's just like, it's so coded. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Bro, don't get me started with Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer with the OST from Tanjiro vs. Rue, or Tengen vs. Uh, Dabi, or whatever the nigga name is, right? Or Daki? My fault, my fault. I don't know. I, my fault. I forgot the nigga's name. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> But yeah, when, when they was doing that fight, and spent, oh, it was Zenetsu versus the, oh my, bro, they're all tough, I'm telling you, um, so actually, you know what, I, I'll give a two-way tie, Diablo's Reincarnation and Demon Slayer, I, I'll do that, I'll do that, so, they, the, them two boys that got the, re um, I said reward, I almost said reward again, I'll give them the award for that, and finally, the last category, we got is fights now for the fights there's a lot of them um you could put fire force in there jujutsu kaisen demon slayer black clover all of them they have a lot of good fights but there can only be one and the one i'm going to or one anime or new gen anime i'm gonna give it to i'm gonna keep it a bean it's very hard to really like because i can't give it to demon slayer because demon well, I could, but it's like, no, because they only got, like, a few fights. You know what I'm saying? They only got a few fights. Black Clover, they got a lot of fights, but I don't know. My Hero's another one. They have a lot of good fights. Like, they have the All Might vs. Nomu, uh, Todoroki vs. Deku, um, Baku vs. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Bakugo vs. Deku. Like, there's a lot. 100% Deku, Deku vs. Um, the... What's that? I forgot the dude's name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll put a picture up. 
Um, you got Deku versus the muscular dude. Damn, that is a lot of them. A lot of them. Um, damn, I, I might have to... Especially Boruto. Boruto got a lot of them. They got the Sa Naruto versus Sasuke ones. Like, ugh. You know what? I'm going to give the fights to Boruto. Now, people might call me crazy. It, it, you, If you can... You can't, you can't put, like, Black Clover, Demon Slayer up there. Maybe even Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, you know? But to be honest, Boruto already had... They have, like, the Naruto vs. Sasuke. Like, it's already go They have it, I think, two or three times on the show. So, I gotta give it to Boruto, man. I know some of y'all be hating on Boruto crazy, but it's still tough. <laughs> That's it for the awards. Uh, as you can see, obviously, Black Clover won. There's no... And, and to be honest, they... They made a close call for, like, damn near all the, you know what I'm saying, awards. Damn near. The f***? Um, they could have won damn near all of them. Damn near. But we got to be real. Um, so, yeah, Black Clover, best new next gen. Uh, or new gen, my fault. I keep saying next gen. What the fuck? <laughs> but, yeah, um, best new new gen uh, goes to Black Clover. Um, if... If you ask me, I'm going to say off, you know, favoritism, Demon Slayer. So, you know what I'm saying? But Black Clover wins this. Um, there are a couple, you know, that are really good. Like my heroes up there, Boruto. And, and y'all got to stop sleeping on Boruto. I feel like Boruto and Fire Force, they're like the dark horse of of new gen anime. Because they, they're always sleep on and like always slept on my fault. And they're like, bro, they're really good. Like, Fire Force didn't win no awards here, but, like, they're really good. Not gonna lie. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Um, Let me know down in the comments who, what's y'all favorite anime and what do you think is the best anime or new gen anime uh, out right now. Um, And do your little award list over there, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm obviously gonna have the timestamps because I, I like doing that. So, I'm not, like, waste y'all time and shit. So, um... Before, you know, the video ends, like, share, subscribe, you know, share this video. I'm trying to get litty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, uh, love y'all, man. And I'm out.